welcome back what's going on today we're gonna start pico ctf i know this is very late and most of you have heard of pico ctf but actually i have been very busy with ryan hack me and hack the box and these two most prominent uh, websites today i started now why not starting pico ctf right okay so i started with the first couple challenges and they were very easy the obedient cat the mod 26 python wrangling until I reached the net cut one and transformation. So I'm not saying that net cut and transformation are difficult, but I'm saying that there is very good opportunity in learning good concepts in Python by doing these two challenges. So I'm gonna do these two challenges, nice net cut and transformation in today's video. Before everything, I opened my web shell and then here I organized the uh, directories so that every directory corresponds to the challenge for example transformation information netcat opedient netcat python wrangling and rot 13 and inside every directory you will see all of the files related to the challenge for example if you go to netcat uh see this is the uh script that i created to solve the challenge and this is the file that we're given in the challenge or the file i okay, okay yeah i just created the file it's not it's not given the challenge sorry for that so let's start with the netcat one so there's a nice program that you can talk to by using this command in a shell nc and this is the address and this is the port but it doesn't speak english so as you can see we're going to need to connect to the server of mercury picocitf.net on this port but based on the uh, statement here we will not be able to understand the output if you take a look at the hints you see you can practice using netcat with this picogen problem if you don't know what's netcat and then you can practice reading and writing ascii with picogen problem you know if you don't know what's ascii different kind of encoding and decoding ascii utf8 utf16 these kind of things uh you can go with the let's warm up anyway so let's go ahead and connect using this command see what's gonna happen copy that and you see we received numbers let's take a look at the numbers 112 105 99 111 67 seems to be numbers right only numbers but actually these numbers if you take a look you can convert these numbers to characters so there is a python function called i didn't know this python function actually it's called chr if you go to the definition here as you can see get the character that represents the unicode 97 now if you click on find ourself you see now the num the number 97 now can be converted to character or the corresponding character is a so we can get the ascii uh, representation of the number using this function so what does that mean it means that these numbers we can just take these numbers right and Go to a tool called CyberChef. So in CyberChef, we can bake a recipe here. Let's paste the out the input, and from the operations, we search for chr from character code. And as you can see, nothing is readable here. So we're gonna have to change the delimiter here first thing the delimiter here is a line as you can see the numbers are separated by line so i'm going to select line and here the pace should be 10 and as you can see you get the flag is this the only way to solve this challenge of course not so basically what i did but i failed this is a, this is a disclaimer i failed actually so it's clear ls i created a python script so let's take a look at the python script okay so the python script actually takes the input line by line from the file so what's the file so take a look at the file to take the text i created the file here contains the output of the netcat command what i did is i just copied this okay and directed forwarded the output to file the text what happened i got these right the output in a file called file.txt. I did that why because I want to iterate through 
uh, the lines in here one by one okay so let's go back to the code nano decryptor if you like nope okay so here what i did open the file the text iterate through the lines and with every line equals to encoded so this is the iterator so i commented out these i'm going to tell you why later so encoded and then for line in encoded okay so basically decode and i use chr so that the first line taken from the encoded is actually corresponds to the first number in the list and this would mean that i would be able to decode the number to the corresponding ascii character and then print decoded decoded is the first variable i defined so now let's run the script see the problem python decrypt okay so an integer is required got type string what does this mean it means that it is taking let's go back to the script so now what is this line line is the first item in encoded now encoded is iterating through every every line in the file text the first line is number right but it is taking it as a string that's why it was strange to me what i did i said why wouldn't i convert the file or text into a list so what i did i just defined a new list okay and the new list is actually a list that contains all of the items in file text into a list encoded read split lines here I just convert that to list and then I put here print list just to see what this looks like so let's take a look at this uh, on indent doesn't match let's see here So now if you run the Python script, we see we got another error, unindented block in this line. Let's take a look back, see what's wrong. Aha, uh -huh. so this one should be like that. Okay, so see now, as you can see, I converted the file from lines into a list, but now the list has a problem. The problem is these are uh, as you can see coated with single quotes so I needed to remove the single quotes from these right and then get them back to only numbers after only that I will be able to use the chr code so in here we needed to find a way to only split the quotes from the list I know we can do that in Python but actually what you can do here once you get these you can use this list actually as an input take it as is let's go back nano dick.py and from here i can um, just cancel this line i don't need that anymore and also i don't need the print list and also i don't need the this line as well so decode it and then define encoded equal and paste in the list that we got what you need to do here just remove the single quotes so now after i stripped the quotes from the list i see now i got a list of only numbers so now i successfully converted the file to a list of only numbers now we can iterate through this list and decode or convert the number into the corresponding ascii code so for that we use uh, for loop for line and encoded decoded equal uh, decoded plus character and the operation is performed on the line which is which corresponds or which iterates through the elements in the list and finally we print the final value of the decoded let's see now if this will work so we get another error for the indentation let's fix the indentations
And as you can see, we got the flag. So you see, we got different flags from here, from Cyberchef in the last octet here. So actually, I solved this challenge. I remembered with the flag from the code. Let's, let's try the flag. This one. No. Let's see this one. Aha. Uh -huh. The one from Cyberchef is the correct one. So there is a bit of difference actually in the only the last octet anyway so that's the uh that's two way two ways to solve the challenge you can guys figure out why the uh, flag is different at this last part let's now move on to the next one reverse engineering okay so let's clear move out of this move to transformation so in transformation we're given a file called encrypt and this is the corresponding decryptor I created for the, for the uh, output. So basically, if you type file encrypt, you see the type of file we have, UTF-8 Unicode text. This means if we type cat encode, we receive <laughs> something um, very similar to the Chinese language, right? But actually, it is not Chinese language. You can solve this challenge two ways. The first one is the short way, using CyberChef course now we take that we go to cyber chef we remove this one we paste that and we go to magic since we don't know what is that and we highlight intensive mode okay so this is, these are the results if you scroll down until you find a pattern that looks like the flag Let's see, this, no, scroll back up, search for Pico, uh -huh. so this is the flag, let's try this one, and that's correct, that's the short way, if you take a look now at the output, or the result, you see, encode text UTF-16BE, valid utf8 so that's kind of uh, from utf8 to utf16 encoding right okay now if you want to solve this with python if you want to get better at python we can solve that with python let's take a look at the script they know the script of ui so what i did i defined a variable called encoded the encoded variable contains the output of the encrypt file so I open the file and read the content, store the content in the encoded. Then I defined another variable called hex decoded. After that, I, I type print encoded string is, so here just to make sure that the encoded variable contains the actual encoded string in the file. Then I created a for loop. In the for loop, I iterate through the contents of the encoded variable. Now with every index in the string, as you can see, I use hex and ORD. Now, what's ORD? If you go to Python, ORD Python now, see ORD is a function returns the Unicode code from a given character. So it's kind of convert a character into a number, right? So here in the encoded, we got characters, UTF characters. Using ORDI, we convert the first character in the encoded into a number and then we convert the number into the corresponding hex code at the end hex, hex decoded will be the complete hex correspondent of the encoded string let's see now how this will work python decrypt of pui as you can see i got hex so we take this one and we go to Cyberchef. Okay, so let's remove this recipe from here and choose hex from hex. And yeah, now we get the flag. So that's it. These are the solutions for these two challenges. I hope you guys learned something from the video. 
and see you later.